we're here today for a couple of special reasons, and one is this is the official kickoff of camp, of Rackman Park Camp. But we're also here to talk about this amazing park and this incredible renovation that uh, we're here to celebrate. So we're in Glen Canyon Park. This is one of my most favorite parks because it is such an incredible combination of everything your recreation and park department has to offer, right? It's got amazing nature. We've got sports, we've got a couple of ball fields out there. We got an amazing basketball court in the gym, what I think might be the prettiest gym that we now have in our system. We've got tennis courts outside, so we've got nature. We've got sports. We've got now rock climbing. We've got community and we've got amazing art. This is, this is all that we do. For the last 15 years, the city, as Phil said earlier, we've been investing in infrastructure like this, our parks and open space, $1.1 billion in the last 15 years. And it proves that we make these investments to get products like this. This kind of DPW, Wicked Park design craftsmanship is just beautiful and wonderful. And I think our neighborhoods all deserve centers like this. But the most important thing is all of you today can get to enjoy this structure, this playground, with the staff of the various universities, who are here and they're all excited because they're, they want to serve our youth and our families. I'm very proud of the staff, the commission, uh, DPW, I'm very proud of the officials that have come together with all the finance people in the room as well to make sure that this is done right, done well, and of course honors uh, the tradition that we will not have. We will always have world class parks and open space in San Francisco. I remember walking into this de decrepit building and it was either way too hot or way too cold, I don't remember which, because the heating system was so broken that if you turned it on, it was like a furnace, if you turned it off, it was like the, the frozen tundra. We all spent a lot of years working to get this done uh, and it's just unbelievably fulfilling for all of us after all of these years and all of that hard work to come into this just, uh, it's just majestic. I was in this building uh, for my daughter's fourth birthday with a couple of other families. We had a big crew here. The difference is just staggering. It's astonishing. Uh, this park is actually literally my backyard. We don't have a backyard at our, at our house, and we're just a few blocks up the street. So I probably spent more time here uh, than, than a lot of people. And this has just been beautiful. Everything that's come in, the transformation is just amazing. And I feel like this is such a gift, not only to our neighborhood, but to the city. My name's Charles Sowers. I'm the artist who created these uh, solar totems. They are essentially sunshine recorders. They have a spherical lens that's right here that focuses the sun's rays. And each day it burns a line into the inside of this log. This is its second day, so it's on its second line. Uh, it moves up a quarter inch every day and it'll end up at the top at the end of the year in, in May next year, at which point we'll move it to the next log and it'll start at the bottom there and move up to the top. These logs are document the years between 2017 and 2020. I like this rock climbing wall because, you know, after a hard day in politics, I'm always climbing the walls at my house. <laughs> and I think now I have a new place to climb rocks. That'll be more enjoyable than climbing the walls at my house. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you.